All right, and we're back with uh, some guy and John at the Imperial. And this is Adam playing the role of John. Okay. No, it's just Adam. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not pretending to be John. Cena. And last night we watched Fate of the Furious. The eight Furious, Fast and Furious movie. Yes, or F eight for you lazy people. Get it? F N and eight. So it says Fate. That's why it's uh-huh. called Fate of the Furious because it's the eighth movie. Fate. F eight. Everybody get it? Okay, good. And for those of you in the audience, apparently the movie is expected to break opening record, opening weekend records. Apparently, come in at 350 million, which I'm too lazy to look up myself. But given the fact that in our small town, yeah, that's it's on two theaters, perform at every, going every one every hour each, every hour, yeah. So 11, 12, one, all, all day long, two theaters. That's a lot. That's fucking nuts. Yeah. You want to do the plot synopsis? Uh, plot synopsis. Basically, um, we start off. Um, uh, Michelle, sure. M- Michelle Rodriguez and uh, Xander Cage are on, out <laughs> on their honeymoon. They're in beautiful Cuba, and they clearly got this idea as soon. And I'm guessing as soon as America, as uh, Obama went to Cuba to open open up there, they must have decided to just shoot there because they shot this fucking thing in Cuba. Yeah. The opening, um, yeah. the opening, the opening in Cuba, which you usually obviously can't do, usually fake it and, and, and like Puerto Rico or something. But yeah, uh, it's all, all shot in shot in Cuba. Uh, they have a nice little honeymoon adventure together. There's a um, oh, it actually starts with a car race. Oh, it starts with an actual car race. And in, yeah, in this series that used to be about car races a long time ago. Yeah. And yeah, it starts with the car race. And it is fucking awesome. And and like all the and, car falls apart. Uh, well, and following suit from all the other movies, this movie doesn't give a fuck. No, it gives no fucks at all. It just starts out with just a montage of asses. No reason at all. Just a big old montage of asses. Mm-hmm. Like every single one of the... This they kind of got... They, they, they actually kind of got him out of the way. Uh, we won't get into spoilers. Just keep the plot lo- loose. Plot loose. Possible. Okay. Uh, basically, um, but Xander Cage is blackmailed by Shlerice Theron. Uh, That's a spoiler. That's not a spoiler. That's yeah, it is. That's, that's a plot spoiler. point. Spoilers, spoilers. It's not. It's a plot point, but it's not from the advertising. I will from the ad- well, no, he, he goes. He goes rogue. Yeah, Xander Cage goes rogue. Yeah, and you don't know why in the spoilers. So okay, my mistake. Okay, uh, we don't know why he goes rogue, but he goes rogue, <laughs> and he he betrays the other. Um, he betrays his family. His, his family. Yes, it's, it's, all about it's called. Family. All, it's all about. It's all about family, you guys. It is all about family. And Michelle Rodriguez asks him, are you going to turn your back on family? And guess what he does? Yes. He turns his back on her. Yes. And from there, it's just a lot of explosions and car chases. Gallivanting and, all over the world. And Jason Statham and and the fucking, and Rock. And oh, the Rock, he is so awesome in this. Him and yeah. Jason Statham are just having the time of their lives. Oh yeah, definitely. They're just having so much damn fun. And yeah, a lot of awesome action sequences and car chases and shit blowing up. And the usual Fast and Furious style at uh, character development. Yeah. <laughs> As in none. Yeah. Yeah, it was just... As in, yeah, it, it literally goes from, I want to kill you, then we then we make a quick joke to each other, and suddenly we're best friends. It, in another life, yeah. In, another, yeah. in, an, in another life, walk. In another life. Yeah, overall impression. That's my statement. It, the Fast and Furious... Is Universal's cash cow right now? So they're going to keep making these forever. And there's Sixteen a, years now. And been there's, a, these movies. there's also non-spoilers since we're keeping it light. There's also a tie-in to keep it going for a long, long time at the end of this movie and in this movie, especially with the title "Fate of the Furious." What's going to happen to all these people we've cared about for so long over the years, making these movies with the hottest cars on the market around? And, yeah. And we get, what, two, three new characters? Yeah, we got uh, Shlees there. Right? Added to the family. Added to, to the family. To, to, added to the family. We got oh, to the family. Yeah. Jason Statham's added to the family. Yeah. And we, there's... I don't want to get into spoilers so yet. So. Yeah, it's hard to talk about the movie without spoilers because it's yeah. a Fast and the Furious movie. 
cars and gallivanting around the world with asses and all kinds of shit and just and they're they're they're, they're, bas- they're basically done they're superheroes they're, they're superheroes they're superheroes especially The Rock he does yeah. things that are well, not and Vin Diesel too and Vin Diesel too Vin Diesel too I think we should skip up the spoilers let's skip up the spoilers because The yeah. Rock he has superhuman strength. Yeah, and I mean, he is breaking chains. Yeah, he is like just throwing people against the wall, yeah. sideways against the wall. A guy pisses off the rock. He makes a comment about his daughter. Big mistake. Uh, so yeah. he snaps his handcuffs, picks the guy up, and slams him again sideways against the wall, sideways, uh, off, off, like six feet off the ground. Yeah. He has this motherfucker up sideways on his wall with his throat sideways around his neck. There's a there, this movie could have a lot of yeah moments. Oh if yeah. You didn't know nothing was ever going to happen to the main characters. But since you know nothing's ever going to happen, they're just kind of like, okay, that was cool. Yeah. You're going over the top. He throws three guards through a door. Yeah, this is an entire movie of yeah. jumping the shark moments. Mm-hmm. They already jumped the shark many, many movies ago, so at this point. Yeah. Just... Like Vin Diesel's in a car that's on fire. Mm-hmm. So so hot that it's cracking the windshield and he just jumps so out. So he just he, he just he, he, he jumps no, he just, out. He, you know, not, not, at first he drives backwards. Oh yeah, backwards. That so does it because that, so that the way the, get him, that yeah. the way the fire won't get him if he's driving backwards. Mm-hmm. So he wrenches the waist that way and then he just jumps. But uh oh, he's about to crash into everybody. So what does he do? He saves everybody by driving the car off of a cliff and then just jumping out. He jumps out and his white clothes aren't even dirty. No, not at all. They not are a, sparkling not clean. Yeah, yeah. No, no, not at all. And if he had any hair, I'm sure it'd be. It'd it would not be mussed up at all. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, he gets blackmailed by, and they they actually tied the movies together with the last one. Did they? I can't. Did they, they this is the thing Cypher, about these movies. Cypher, I've seen almost all of them. I still can't remember fucking any of them. Yeah, because they all have the same shit. But the, in yeah. this one, Cipher had corrupted Jason Statham's younger brother. And was creating that team to steal stuff all over the world, and Vin Diesel came and screwed it up. So she came after him. Yes, that's and we're right, yeah. we're in spoilers. He had a child with the girl he got together with after Michelle Rodriguez that he didn't know about, and she kidnaps them to make him work for them. So you understand like right away why he's doing all that. Yeah, in my rewrite, that's gonna be gone. <laughs> but yeah, it basically starts out with a race race to save his cousin's car uh, lots of big dick man up moments and he uh, he doesn't take the guy's car he says keep your car now I have your respect which comes into play later yeah then he gets blackmailed by Charlie Theron to steal an EMP device no to, st- to steal an EMP device for her first an EMP device after yeah she contacts him before he goes before he goes on another mission and get the whole crew back together with the rock and everything he betrays the rock You've seen that in the trailer mm-hmm. that's to steal an EMP device then they do something that was actually pretty cool where they, they took control of cars in New York yes to steal the nuclear Russian launch codes yeah, that was really cool yeah they just took control of all yeah. these um uh, self, the, yeah, the self-driving cars they have now. They just hacked all of them. Yeah, and, and I'm watching them, and I'm like, I cars, don't think, yeah, cars don't work that way. No, not at all. They're and there are not, not that, that many self-driving cars well, there around. Are, there aren't any self-driving cars on the market. No, they're, they're, they're like a, a few. I mean, people no, I do have them. Think, they make no, YouTube think, videos. We know they exist. Yeah, you can start them, but not drive them. Okay. As far as I know, because uh, there aren't any cars in the market that you can. This movie isn't exactly scientifically accurate. Yeah, I know, I know, but it, it, it was a really cool concept the way she was doing it. Yeah. Those scenes were those scenes were pretty cool. Yeah, use the EMP device to <laughs> to activate every single car to all just fucking attack the Furious Gang, mm-hmm. or they're not called the Furious Gang. What are they called? Uh, I they think don't, they're they all they're name. actually they're named after his character, right? They're the Toretto Gang. Yeah, they're to, they're to Toretto Gang, and they, it's it's almost kind of like the A Team. Yeah, but they're not criminals because they they're, no, they're, they're criminals. financially set from all the other movies and the heists. Heists. Well, they were, started out as criminals, and then they ended up working becoming yeah, because it used to be about street racing. Yeah, <laughs> and stealing shit. But yeah, oh, the movie just doesn't give a fuck in the most fun way possible. No, like it does if you're, not if give you're a looking fuck at all. for physics or reality or actual tension and drama you're just or well, plot it's, it's you, there, there's a loose loose plot loose loose but there's a point in the movie where they explain everything 
to you as if you hadn't been watching this movie? Yeah. As if you were a fucking idiot? They did idiot? it a couple times. Yeah, yeah. Like, After, yeah. like, there's another uh, reveal where it turns out that he, that Jason Statham, uh, that's basically he got Helen Mirren to, to work with him. There's a big reveal where it turns out that Jason Statham is actually Helen Mirren's son. Yeah. And the only two British people who have the exact same accents. Yeah. And Helen yeah, Mirren is was, basically doing an impression of Jason, Jason yeah, Statham was, in was, this movie. The second you come on, she comes like on, on stage, like, it's like, yeah. okay, she's his mother. She's obviously his mother. She's talking exactly like him. I'm not she's not talking say, like Helen Mirren that talks at all. I'm not going to say it's for dumb people. The, the reason they do that, it's because they're underestimating their audience. Because it was just so... It was like... There was, no, there was literally, for a movie that should have been mysterious, there was literally no fucking mystery. Oh, there was none at all. None at all. No, no, no. Even when they did the flashback and explained everything, you're like, no, yeah, we, we, we fucking knew that. Move on. Yeah, it's Let's like... Keep going. Something Jason, happens... Jason Statham already explained what happened It's not a mystery. What it is yeah. is that something happens, you know why, and yeah. they tell you what why. Uh, yeah, oh, and that would have uh, that would have he, he betrayed it... them. Why did he betray them? Oh, this is why he betrayed them. Oh, yeah, okay. This is exactly that's why. why. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's not what a mystery is, people. Yeah, that is and not what a mystery like, is. Oh, the right. The writing was bad. The lines were. That's why. That's why. If they kept it a mystery, the lines. The lines would have made it more fun. Yeah. I'm gonna beat you like a Cherokee drum. That's the only one I. Can, that's one of the few I can remember. Uh, oh, kiss my baby! Kiss my baby! He's the only person. Keep, he's the only thing keeping everybody on this plane alive. That was actually a good one too. Yeah. But because everything's late, everything's like laid out, and then it's then it stops and goes. Oh, hey! In case you didn't notice, this is yeah. it all over again. Yeah, this is the, this is the reason why this all happened. Yeah, yeah. In case you didn't catch it, even though you obviously did. This is why. Yeah, it was. There's not much to say because. There's not much to the movie except kind of cool cars. None, none that I really liked except the tank was cool. The tank was really cool. The introduction of the Mr. Nobody's protege that was kind of cool because he Kurt Russell told fucking call that. Yeah. One big problem I had with this throughout uh-huh. the entire movie, there's this big step going that Jason Statham and The Lock are going to fight. Oh, That's, yeah. They it never starts do. They with, never yeah. do. Yeah. It starts with them they're meeting up, up in jail. Mm-hmm. They call each other out because they know each other from the previous movie where Jason they're Statham... They're talking shit back and forth. Just, yeah, yeah, they're yeah. talking shit back and forth. Through their jail cells. Through the jail cells. Which to be right across from each other. Yeah. Right across from the way. Then guess what? Out of nowhere, suddenly, there's a jailbreak. Yeah, the door is just Jason magically... Jason escapes. Escapes. Because in a... And the, the prison even says, ma- the, like, the name of the prison is Maximum Security Prison. That's yeah. the name of it. That's what it says, like, right on the front, like, like a five-year-old thought of the name for the prison. The s- second J- Jason Statham escapes, yeah. he suddenly, he does this little trick where, because he, he takes the, um, the electric stun gun and stuns, like, the door, stuns every the door. other, other yeah, door yeah. opens. In a maximum security prison, all the doors are tied together, and if you, if you short out one, it shorts out all of yeah. them. Yeah, if you use an electric stun gun, which all the guards have, you can just open up every single door. So every yeah. single door is open, opened yeah. up. There's, there's a big old chase in between Statham and, and, and the lock. They're all fighting secu- all, all, all the... Uh, all, all, all the guards. And it's got your it's got your James Wan where if somebody gets strong armed or flipped or something, the camera rolls and flips with them too. But yes. it doesn't. I would have liked because of the the power of modern editing to make it one continuous shot for that whole prison escape. That would have been so that would have been a that, lot cooler. That would have been sweet. Yeah, I you mean, it, it wasn't a lot of like the the Jason Bourne choppy editing. It no, was no. like most of it, like you could see the action pretty well, so that part yeah. was cool. But yeah, because this is the they whole had a thing. Chance to, he had a chance whole, to do something artistic. He had a chance to do something artistic, but he didn't. Yeah. But this is the thing. There's this whole whole big setup between the, the walking Statham, they're all chasing each other, they're chasing, chasing. They're, they're, just, as the, just as they catch each other, just as they start fighting, then boom, Kurt Russell comes and breaks it up. And yeah. throughout the rest of the movie, there's this whole big tension. Oh, oh. With the walkers there, as soon as this is over, I'm gonna kick your ass. And Jason Statham, it's like, it might, might. As soon as, as soon as, as we're done, I'm gonna kick the shit out of you. I'm here, I'm here for me and my brother. I'm here to take revenge because she fucked over my brother, and he's been this and that. And yeah, of course he's. Who's fine. who's Beast, by the way? In case you want to know his brother, is it's uh, the new Beast. No, it's not. No, no, no it's new, new Gaston. It yeah. is. It's yeah, new it's Gaston. new Gaston. Yes. Yeah, new yeah, Gaston. Yeah. 
No, New Beast it was is. The, it was Universal. He's a, the Dracula, Dracula Untold. Yes, yeah, also Dracula I, Untold. We don't do actors' names unless somebody actually. Lee knows Pace. Them, no, that's not it. Lee Pace is Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. I can't remember what his name is, but yeah, he's I think new. it's Luke something, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, Luke Evans, that's it. There we go, Luke Evans, yeah. He's Jason Jason's brother, as you remember from the first one. Yeah. But from, yeah, there's no the fucking fight through this entire thing that pissed me off so much. Yeah. How they could forget this huge... Well, they no, because they got, they got to a point where the, they looked up each other's backgrounds and they agreed... They could in another life if all that previous animosity from the first movie wasn't around, they could actually be friends. They, so they made up. So now Jason Statham's part of this franchise, which I don't have a but problem still, with that because for they me, you still always, be friends and kick each other's asses. Yeah, like you don't set all that up for so long. Yeah, but they're only no, to have no, it the payoff beat. Now I guess we're buddies now. But that's kind of what the franchise does. The franchise, do, well, the, the franchise, franchise kind of does all. The franchise does does kind of say that's stupid. The franchise is is kind of the good thing about it. It's kind of a fuck you to white privilege, white supremacy. The white guy is always going to be the best guy. All that it's all fuck all that because it's it's the most like racially and culturally diverse franchise. Yeah. So why can't we see a British guy in a Samoan and be kick, kick each other's asses? Next movie. Eh, yeah, they better. Because, I mean, Jason Statham versus The Rock, like... There's really no reason the for The Rock has, to... what, 50 pounds on Jason Statham? A, a, a good, like, four inches height-wise? So, so who you could put him so... another, like, two, like, the other two, three inches reach-wise? I'm taking a big step here, but so who could kick Bruce Lee's ass? You think The Rock could kick Bruce Lee's ass? Bruce Lee's another I'm animal putting, altogether. I'm, ta- I'm taking a step up, but size doesn't matter when you're fighting. The Rock could kick Bruce Lee's ass. I, well... Yeah, uh, if yeah, the block I'm, had I'm, the training I'm elevating Bruce Jason Lee, Statham yeah. to the to Bruce Lee's ass, but in movie things, no, it's they would fight to a draw. Yes, it, it would actually be like the whole versus Thor. They would fight to a draw, and because they're friends, they just stop fighting. The, then just give and us one that would scene. Always play, they, they'd Even both always in, claim they won. Yeah, in, in the Avengers, they had that little the tease of the animosity between the characters, and then guess what? The characters actually fought a little, and that was part of developing the, the characters. Well, they didn't have time to fight because it would have ruined the mission. Why are you defending this? You didn't even like this movie. I didn't like the movie, but I understand inside of the... Dude, Fast and Furious is its own universe. They're up to eight movies now. The movies, for the last, I'm going to say four, have done whatever the fuck they wanted. So they are, they're, they're literally their own universe. So they make up their rules as they go along, and those lines about... oh. We have a lot in common. Like even even like Satan says it. Like in another life, you and I could have done done a lot of damage. The only the only animosity they have between each other is because in the other. In just oddly enough, it's a little deeper now that I'm thinking about it than what we actually saw. Jason Statham was only after that Toretto in the in the last movie to save his brother, to get to his brother, to save his brother from Cypher they're like they're, they're like backwards ty- they've like retconned Cypher Cypher into being the big bad guy and they, they, they let her get away in this which was actually kind of cool you know what I wanted I wanted the baby to go out the when they had that scene when Cypher got away I said I'm the only one wearing a parachute and you show up in the door I wanted the baby to go out him to go out him to fucking kill her and take her parachute yeah that would have been tight but they didn't do that that's part of my rewrite but yeah it's uh it's just kind of fun. Cool yeah. cars, people talking shit. Tyrese is screaming his fucking head off. He's the like, quote unquote every man because he doesn't really have any skills to bring the bear except for driving. No, by the way, when did Ludacris become a computer genius? Because he wasn't always a computer genius. First, he, he was, was just, he was in the last one. And I think he, he was, was just a mechanic, but then he later he became a computer genius. Well, I think he was. I think he was because in the second, uh, he's in the second. The second one is. Uh, is him, Tyrese, and uh, Paul Walker. Luke, yeah, Paul Walker. There was no Vin Diesel in the second one, and he was like the super, the super high tech mechanic. So that just for the movies naturally carries over into being a computer genius. That makes sense. Yeah, and it's, the movie was just fun. Yeah, but it could not like the thing with these movies is they're fun. But you really know people aren't going to die at this point. 
Yeah, you know that. You know, like That's they said, they saw, they're, I'm tired of going to funerals. They said that in the last one. And that was almost kind of like a, a red flag to say, okay, they're not going to kill anybody else off because these movies are doing too well. And actually, I'm, I want to check because I want to see if all the showings that they put up are worth it. Okay, he's going to check to see if all of the showings that they put up are worth it. What, is it, what are you talking about? What? What are you talking about? You're going to check to I'm see. If, see how much money it's made. He's going to check to see if all the money it has made. All right, so I think that Jason Statham and The Walk needed to have. Remember the, the fights that the uh, the chicken that the chicken and um, and Peter Griffin have in Family Guy. I want to go on for way too long and are way too elaborate. They had a fight like that in the last one. Did you see the last one? I think I saw the last one. I don't, I don't. It starts out with him and Jason Statham fighting. No, I did not see the last one. Okay. Last one's the one with. Um, Oh, I'm really, I'm, I'm way off. It looks like it's going to be a hundred million dollars plus. Holy shit! It's a two hundred and forty million dollars worldwide so far. Wow! Just the weekend. That's and it opened yesterday. Dear God! Today's Saturday night. Yeah. Well, what am I doing with my life? That's fucking nuts. Oh, wait, wait. It's 10 million shy of already make, of making its budget back. Not making, not turning a profit yet, but I'm sure it will. It's at, what's it? It's at 45 domestic, which is U.S., and 194 international, so yeah. It's just a fun, it's, it's, like, it's like a fun popcorn movie that shows off the latest cars and shit. Yeah, there's not really oh, too really much cool. you can really yeah. say about it. It's just a lot of uh, explosions and car stuff, and it's oh, and there's a submarine. We forgot about the submarine. Oh yeah, so let's go. Let's go through the whole. You want to go through the whole movie, or do you want me to? Do it? Let's let's go through the whole movie. Uh, I'll, you start. I'll chime in. Okay. So we already covered. The movie starts out with his cousin getting his car towed by a guy, and, and Vin Diesel steps in and says, "I'll race your car, the fastest one on the whole island of Cuba." In my cousin's car, and earn it, earn it, earn, earn the car the proper way. So they have a street race. Now, what does this guy do? Because he starts out the biggest asshole on the planet. It looks like he's a tow truck driver. Yeah, he's a tow truck driver. And they, uh, they have a race. The car catches on fire. We already, actually, we already went over this. Car catches on fire. Then he ends up winning the winning the race. We forget the best part though, because. As per the, the, the thing, they were racing for cars. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's about to give Vin Diesel, Vin Diesel the car. He said, "Congratulations, you have won my car and yeah. also my respect." And that's the thing because Vin Diesel says, says, "Keep your car. Says, Keep your I'll car. take your respect." Because that's who Vin yeah. Diesel is. Yeah, that's, that's or whatever Don, his character's Don name Don is. is. Don yeah. Toretto. That's who Don Toretto is. He's all about the respect. He's the old way, school like that. Then, like the next day, on the way to get his normal morning coffee. He meets up with Charlie Theron, and she's pretending to be a, a yeah, just a tourist who has a, tourist lost who has a car problem, a problem. And he notices the problem's fake, and she tells him, and then tells him, "You're gonna work for me." Yeah, and so just and up, shows him a video. We don't know what it is, but yeah. clearly from the look on his face, uh, she it's has some, it. It's something he can't. It's an offer he can't refuse. Yeah. Yeah. Then we cut to uh, an EMP being stolen by I think the Germans. Or D- Germans, because it's in Germany, and the rock ha- the rock at a soccer game with his daughter. And I don't know that he's had a daughter in the movies up until now. It starts out with this great, and even you knew he's he's not talking to the crew. He's yeah. not talking to anybody of any importance. Giving this just, just big old Rodriguez. gnarly speech, and I think they worked in a a Samoan traditional dance because that's what the girls soccer team does yeah, before the um, show the, the, the game starts Maori uh, the, the Maori warrior dance yeah all, yeah. all the um, yeah all, all the uh, <laughs> all yeah. the, the seven year old soccer uh, soccer playing girls all yeah. do a Maori warrior dance 
to intimidate the other the other kids. Yeah. So and were, god yeah. damn it, it was funny. That was a yeah, funny, charming yeah. scene. I gotta say. Yeah. The rock. The then uh, while the rock is coaching the soccer game, there's like funny lines. There's, there's more moms than there are kids. Yeah. Whatever. Fuck it. I, we, we, we get it. The rock's hot. Yeah. Don't have to keep saying it. It's bunch fine. of bunch of ladies come out yeah. to check out the rock for no reason, just because yeah, he's then, hot. Uh, and then the government guy shows up and he's like, Daddy's got to go to work. So he assembles his crew, which is the Toretto crew, basically. And they go steal the EMP. And then. But uh oh, Dominic have, Toretto betrays him. Yeah. And yeah. he knocks him off the road and t- takes the EMP. Yep. And The Rock is like, it, you, it, It's not too late, Toretto. You, you, it's not too late, Toretto. You, you can still turn back, but Toretto just keeps walking. And then he's, he's like, The it's Rock is like, It's, it's too late yeah. now, Toretto. Yeah. Just talking to himself. So then all we go. Tough then we go through the the prison scene with, the State, prison. with Statham and The Rock, and they break out, and Kurt Russell shows up. Oh, but we forget this: the introduction of uh, Clint Eastwood's son and yeah. and uh, Kurt Russell. Yeah. Wait, yeah. is Kurt Russell someone's son? A famous? No, Kurt Russell's. His no, I'm thinking of Michael Douglas. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And Kurt, Kurt Russell and um, yeah, and, and Scott Eastwood. Mm-hmm. Uh, they are gov- the, the the official government guys. Yeah, they're they're, yeah. they're just Mr. Nobody. And yeah, his, and his apprentice. Mr. Nobody's and apprentice. They're the your typical government. They're yeah. to make sure a job gets done, guys. They are just the government guys. There's a lot of shit talking, and they find and they out. don't even say ever say what branch they're from. They never say security or FBI or no, national no, security. No, it's just they're, they're, they're just the government guys. They're unknown, undisclosed. Uh, unknown, undisclosed. Then we get the yeah. whole gang back at the. Uh, back at his base and they try to use God's eye to um, to find Dominic because he's gone he's gone rogue and they then they do some fancy hacker stuff which is kind of fucking laughable we can backtrace this and we can do that and you get the two the two hacker people you get the hot chick Ramsey from the last one and the ludicrous and they're hacking just like let's hear let's just say that phrase again our two hackers for this movie are a really hot chick a really and hot British chick. Ludicrous. Those are our two are our two hackers for the movie. A really hot chick and Ludicrous, the rapper. Well, it's fine. That's the, that's their characters. That's why I no, say No, no, no. Like I just like the, let's just say universe. that to embrace the insanity that this movie is. I'm not saying like anything. I, a really hot chick could be a hacker and Ludicrous could be a uh, hacker too. That's that's the universe they've created. Not Ludicrous. I I, I still cannot buy that. If Tyrese was the hacker, absolutely. Tyrese can be a hacker. Why not ludicrous. Because he can't string a fucking sentence together. He's a multi-platinum international rap star who writes all of his own music. So, he yeah. still can't string a sentence together. I, I, he, could be, he could be a hacker. Anyways. Um, so then they're like, oh, we found out where he's at. And Kurt Russell's is like, wait a second, that's right here. Then we get that scene from the trailer. Cypher and Dom break in and steal God's Eye. Yeah. The, the computer program that can find anyone anywhere. And the reason they're stealing it is because they, next we go to New York, because they want to, we go to New York to the backup base where we get the introduction of the tank and that's where Statham and The Rock like settle their differences. Because they want to, she wants to steal the nuclear codes from the Russian ambassador well, that's where we get our cool automatic. Like they hack all the all the modern cars, self-driving cars, and they corner the uh, they corner the ambassador. And Dom Dom looking pretty straight up straight. Dude, Dom looking straight up fucking comic book super villain. Oh, com- total comic book super. Comic book super villain, body armor, the sweet ass fucking chainsaw that doesn't have any scratches on it after he uses it. No, why would it? And that's why I say there's like there's some really good moments in this scene. He cuts into the the car, not the passenger compartment, but he cuts into the gas tank and lights a flare and taps on the window with it. Yeah, says, give that's... me the codes. So like taps on the window with it and then like show from the outside. The window rolls down. They give him the codes. He runs off. His wife inter- intercepts him and he's ready to just let her go. But then our we got our. I don't know. I, Irish is red hair. Yeah, Ster- I, our Irish guy he, shows the up. The Irish stereotype. He is our. What do you call him? He, he's the Smee, the, uh, the the second villain. The, yeah, the se- the secondary villain. The, the, yeah. the, the main henchman. The one that's gonna die. One that's, yeah. And it, AKA and, uh, the guy that's gonna die. Yeah. We all know he's gonna. He's fucking dead. So Letty has the case. He's got it from Dom. He's gonna let her go. Everything's on camera. And this is where we get the reveal. 
This is where we get the reveal of why Dom's doing this. Yeah. Actually, no, we got that earlier. Fuck that, but it's fine. This is where the reveal should have been in, in good storytelling. Um, we get the reveal that that Dom's wife, after he thought Letty was dead, has had a child that he didn't know about until now, and Cypher has them hostage. But because Dom was willing to let Letty go with the cases, they kill his his wife, and he loses his shit. He gets all pissed off, he, and he and he actually uh, Xander Cage and Dominic Toretto are the same fucking character. Yeah, they're literally the same character. He's he's almost more Xander Cage now. So they have the they have the nuclear codes, and they, they how do they, how do they track them? How do they figure out they were going to Siberia? Oh, I I, can, I cannot remember at all. I so can't. They, I don't know what it is about these movies, but the second I leave them, you, you leave them, you just forget every. Yeah, because they're just—they're just like fun. They're just yeah, they're fun. just like dumb popcorn. Things. So they basically figure out that they're trying to get the. La- they have the launch codes. Oh no! It's because uh, because um, a splinter, like an independent army, took over a Russian naval base that has access to a nuclear submarine. Right. So they figure out that's where they're at. So they use the EMP, and I'm sorry. This this hurt, but it was cool visually. They they detonate the EMP in a car that's driving, and the EMP spreads out like a blast burst, like it disrupts the snow. <clears throat> As it turns off the electronics, and EMPs don't work that way. Oh God! Wait, did you expect the EMP to work? As an EMP would in this movie. No, no, no. it's gonna work for plot convenience, and that's it. No, no, it worked as it does, but the the visual effect doesn't actually exist for the EMP. But that's oh, that of course was, not. That's what made it kind of fun. It's like we have to show people what it's doing, and it looked cool. Granted, it looked really yeah. fucking cool with the blast waves spreading out and shutting everything down. Even though EMPs don't have fucking blast waves. No, yeah. they don't. They're visible ones to us. But yeah. Um, there are animals that can see ultraviolet light and the electromagnetic frequency, so they might see it. But that's another—that's a di- different conversation entirely. So they don't talk it. So they're, they they uh, she's hacking the Russian sub. She's rebooting the Russian sub and hacking in through the the back doors that you can when you reboot computers. She's doing her thing. Then we get. I, I can get on the sub and I can pull a chip so she can't launch the code. I can get in the, the watchtower, the, like the watchtower house, so I, I can stop her from hacking it. Let's do both. So we have this. We have yet another action scene where we got cars going off, people shooting, and they're, they're killing people now. We've, we've upped the ante because somehow in all these movies, they've become master marksmen and gun experts. Mm-hmm. And we've jumped back in the 80s movies where... The bad guys are behind cover shooting at the good guys who aren't behind cover, and they all miss, but they don't. No, the, the stormtroopers, basically. The, yeah, basically. All the bad guys. Yeah. Yeah, the good guys don't need cover. So we And we have a we have an Indiana Jones scene ripoff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where uh, Letty's fighting some guy, and there's a propeller from the Russian thing spinning, and it's so, it's so PG-13. It's so PG-13, because she oh, kicks him off the thing, and there's like a little tiny spray. You know what happened? Indiana yeah. Jones did it way better. Yeah. The whole fucking plane was covered with blood. <laughs> Even though now that I think about it, his body disappeared in the next yeah, shot. P- but, P- yeah, PG-13s yeah, PG uh, have gotten seriously watered down lately. Yeah. So, we get our we get our crew, we get half of our crew on the sub, and she activates some, she's, she's getting ready to launch, she launch the sub and launch the nuke, so they can't get in there, and they're, pull, they're pulling out this, pulling out that, we get an actually funny scene from Tyrese where he says, I think I got it. And he starts trying to read the Russian as somebody who doesn't speak Russian would actually try to read the Russian with all those fucked up symbols. Yeah. He's just like fucking gobbledygook yeah. left and right. Don't, don't pull that, don't pull that. And then they tell him it's going to be counting down. And they make it a point to say, that's not going to be in Russian. Like Russia has different numbers for counting than the rest of the world. But they have to say that so us as the audience go, oh, okay, we can start looking around for a countdown time or two. Like, we didn't know that Russia's clocks are the same as everybody else's clocks. But, yeah, that was, that was pretty funny. So they pull it. Then she manages to launch the sub. And it switches from that to, we have to get to the gate. And meanwhile, Dom's, Dom's up on a hill with our, red, with our red-haired bad guy. Um... And he's going to start killing off the crew, and Dom has to go along with this. 
Meantime, we get a, a flash. We get a flashback explanation scene. We get we get the GI Joe scene with Jason Statham and his brother mm-hmm. boarding the plane. Told GI Joe with that shit. That was that was. I, I think I even said it loud. We're watching GI Joe now. Yeah, pretty much. Because they have rocket rocket powered single use one man gliders. Each of them, and they fly into the plane. And Dom's just sitting there in his car waiting for the signal from Jason Statham, who has a pretty good action sequence inside the plane because he's playing with a baby. That he's, was really that was cool. cool. That was cool because he's talking. He's talking. I to can't the baby. believe you shot at a baby, mate. Yeah, he's talking to the baby. Put, puts on the headphones. Are you good? Because that's baby. all it would take. Yeah, to silence the sound of a shot of a shotgun going off. Yeah. a yeah. foot from a baby's head. Yeah. All you would have to do to, to keep yeah. to, to save his hearing was just put some headphones on him. And just have a soft little lullaby play. Yeah, That's it. Yeah. And then I'll tone out all the gunfire. Yeah. So Jason Satan is basically killing everybody as he goes along through this plane while carrying a baby and throwing a baby around. And every now and then making it a point to check on the baby. So you see that. So in the middle of all this bloodshed and murder and death, we see a cute baby smiling and laughing. Yeah. And it's always smiling and laughing. Oh, oh always. Yeah. And he's doing cutesy faces to it back and forth. And then we have the scene with Cypher where he corners her and says, I'm going to fucking kill you. It's like, oh, um, there's only one of us wearing a parachute. And she opens the door and he has to save the baby instead of going after her. So she gets away. Dominic gets a signal that everything's cool. He gets in a minor fight. Like, that guy should have had a better guy. Yeah. He gets in a minor fight with the red-headed guy. Flips, flips him onto the hood of the car, breaks his neck. Now we're on with the submarine trying to get to the gate before they can close it down and the guys from the base chasing after them. And we get complete, beautiful popcorn ridiculousness. Mm -hmm. They're blown up cars. The submarine launches a torpedo. We got that scene from the trailer where the rocks grabs the torpedo, tells Tyrese to turn turn the fucking thing so it launches at something else. And our big, our big climax for the whole sub thing is, which kind of made my head hurt too, is she launches a heat-seeking missile at Dom after they realize he, he, she's realized he's turned sides, and everybody's totally cool with this. They were hunting him down to fucking kill him before, but they're like, "Oh, he's back. He's cool." Yeah. She launches a heat seeker to his car, which happens to have the Batman turbo. Yeah, how turbo did thing they figure it? that all out? By the way, because they just seem to all automatically just know, oh, he's good now. No, he he launched into the thing and he like hit some of the some of the guys that were chasing him. So they were like, oh, he's cool now. And he looked at Letty, and I knew when she was in the beginning of the movie, in the beginning of the movie when they're in Berlin, when she said, "Are you okay?" and he said, "I'll see you when this is all over." That. He was talking about a bigger thing than that, and she yeah. was supposed to know that, and she did know that because she never gave up on him. They never gave up on him either. They were like, uh, "We got to stop him, but we're not going to kill him." The Rock was the only one that's like, "I'm going to kill him," you know. But we have our ridiculousness where she launches a heat-seeking missile at him, and since his car is the super souped-up car, it's got a turbo a turbo thing on it, and he fires it up so it follows him. He. He loops back around so the heat-seeking missile hits the submarine and blows it up, but he jumps out of the car, once again completely unscathed, and we get our big family emotional moment where there's a huge fireball coming towards Dom and all the other cars from the rest of the crew surround him, so they block the fireball. And the whole time I'm thinking, that's not how fire works. No, no, no. That's not how fire works. It would go under the cars. It would go this way. It would go that way. But okay, we're in the Fast and Furious universe where everything's plot convenience. And then it ends with a picnic on a rooftop at somebody's house in New York. And this is what I was talking about. We get introduced to, what we get reintroduced to The Rock's daughter, Next but, Generation, yeah. and Dominic's son. Who's named? You don't remember his name. He's named Brian. He's named Brian for to continue the legacy of giving homage to the to that actor, which was which I thought that was kind of cool. Oh yeah. But now we're set up, and like I said after the movie, I'm just waiting for Fast and Furious 11 F8 full screen. 
Wait, Brian was the character's name from uh, of Paul, was Paul Walker's character's name? Yeah, yeah. That's oh, why his name okay. is Kid Brian. Yeah. Because okay. remember, they made it a point to say he doesn't have a middle name. I wanted you to his father to give him his name. And That's right. Of course, right, it was yeah. going to be Brian. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's the movie. It's just, it's just fun popcorn. I'm not gonna say bullshit because it wasn't horrible, but it'll hurt your head if you're, if you're even mildly scientifically minded. But it won't hurt it so much that it will make it bad. Yeah, because it wasn't. It wasn't horrible. It was just ridiculous fun. It It was. was, It was another popcorn movie. Total total popcorn movie. You didn't see Kong, did you? I haven't seen Kong yet. Oh, you need to see that. It's Kong's a po- Kong is a better popcorn movie. This is another total popcorn movie. This is a bigger popcorn movie. But yeah, it was just it was just fun. Yeah, I'm I'm surprised. You, you seem to like dislike a lot more than I did. But it sounds like you liked it just the same as me. From you no, know. I see. I'm more vocal about the problems I had with it, but I still enjoyed it while I was watching it. Yeah, me too. There were points where it just. It got kind of boring for me, honestly. Yeah, when they, when they were trying to make it dramatic, that's when it got boring, because you're like, I don't fucking care. Yeah. Show me some cars, show me some cool driving. Let's, let's go. Flip the camera around again, yeah. But, uh, yeah, overall, it's a good uh, good popcorn movie. Yeah. It's not even worth doing rewrites, because there's... Well, like I said, my one rewrite would be... We don't get the reveal... We don't get those two reveals. There's a, scene, there's a scene in New York, we'll skip back. There's a scene in New York where Dom has to fix his car, and he's off the camera so Cypher can't see him, then he goes and meets with Jason Statham's mom. Yeah. Which, you knew that you knew exactly what all that was. Oh, that absolutely. Was happening. And I wanted, I wanted a fight between Statham and The Walk. Yes, yeah, we, I'd say, we needed I'd say, to have that fight. It was built up so much. Yeah, they fought in the last one. Okay, whatever. Like, but I, I really wanted something to, to, to you know, uh, just a really great fight between the two of them. Something that took advantage of the fact that the rock's bigger, but Statham's faster, and just uh, yeah, and yeah, just it was just built up so much to not have it happen. Would, would have been just was fucking stupid and but so they yeah did, they, they needed did, they, they didn't no either. it needed to happen it, it was built up I don't care that it happened the last one I didn't see the last one it was built up and it should have happened there should have well, been an they, awesome fight they had it in the last one it does matter that you didn't see the last one because you got that fight in the last one and these it was aren't the kind of movies movie. where you need to see them sequentially for them to make sense those are not these kinds of movies but like I'm saying for my rewrites I would have had it. I would have had the reveal of all the other stuff because we already figured it out. You figured it out. But I wouldn't yeah. have had him go and talk to Jason Statham tomorrow. What? I would have just had that reve- reveal be who the fuck are these two guys in these GI Joe things raiding this plane? They must be Dom's friends. Oh shit! It, it's Jason Statham. And yeah. I, w- I would have almost had him not break out of the prison. Like, I wouldn't have had them, I wouldn't have had him as part of the team. I would have had that, se- I would have kept that shot where they told you everything that happened and told you that way instead of showing it in the movie sequentially. So that, there'd be a little bit of That would have been better, that's true. And that would have been the first, like, that would have been the first time. And I, and I would use dialogue, like, like, we're here to, we're here to rescue a kid. And let that dialogue be the clue to the audience that that kid must be Toretto's kid. That's why these people are doing this for him. And then you do that back and reveal of everything that happened, and even show show them killing her, killing the the, the uh, wife after uh, Michelle Rodriguez's character was thought presumed dead. Right. Like, had, like the way you do an actual mystery movie, you have this big chunk, like dump of exposition of everything that was actually going on this whole time, not dulled, that, not the way they did it. You know everything that's happening this whole time. Now we're going to tell you everything again. Say it all again to, like, like make it an actual mystery. You know? Yeah. Like, Scooby-Doo does a better job of holding up a good mystery. <laughs> yeah. They yeah. drop the little clues here and there, but, yeah. Um, that's all I got. Yeah, that's all I got, too. You good? We're good. That's the end of Some Guy and John with special guest Adam. Bye, everybody. 
And we're coming back for part two, I guess you could say, because Adam has a rewrite and he's running low on battery life, so go for it. So basically, uh, we are going... There have been a lot of rumors that they are going to combine this with other franchises, so that's my whole idea. Exact same movie, com but combined with other franchises. Shalice Theron isn't just Edel, she's also a Decepticon. That's right, she's working for the Decepticons, and they're the, you know, the, the aka the evil Transformers. So, we get, so we've got The Rock, we've got The Rock, we've got the whole Fast and Furious gang, and we've got... And we've got the Transformers all together in one movie, but that's not it. They're also getting, but that's not it because also uh, remember Jason Statham and Jason uh, Jason Statham and um, Mui. What's her name? His mom. His mom's Jason Statham's mom in this movie. Oh my God, Hel really? Helen Mirren. Helen Mirren. Helen Mirren. The, Helen Mirren, they're not just a secret, uh, they're not just uh, a secret uh, British people. That uh, also, they also get help from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles instead of instead of uh, Jason Statham's character, he's getting replaced with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh my god! Yeah, I want to talk more about what we talked about in the car. So yeah, let's. Are you done? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So let's go with this right along with along with the lines of what Adam said. They've been talking about combining this franchise with the Transformers, and this would have been the perfect movie to do it. With Cipher uploading her mind into the body of Megatron, uploading Jason Statham's mind into the body of Optimus Prime, and the Rock into the into the body of uh, Ultra Magnus. So now we have we have gallivanting around the world trying to take it over and destroy it in super hot cars, but they're also Transformers and they're also half they're half Transformers characters and half Fast and the Furious characters, and just fucking go from there because both franchises are fucking completely ridiculous, and they're both literally licenses to print money. Pretty much. And maybe we can get some X-Men there too. Just yeah, to we could get we could get some X-Men there because of the computer super hacking powers and supernatural shit. But not Marvel characters because they'll never agree to this because they're already huge on their own. Yeah, and let's call that a, call that done. Call that done. Thanks for watching. Uh, we might have a cat video at the end of this for you, so you don't have to go anywhere else. Hooray!